Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video, and today we are talking uh, the final chapter of Defo, which has arrived on JP, so uh, this is an unfortunate thing we didn't get on Global, I don't know why they couldn't have just pushed this out to us, but they didn't. Um, but for those of you that are really into the story, um, they did actually make the story come to a conclusion. So I guess that is a nice thing that they did for the players, um, at least on the JP side. They didn't just like cut the game off and say you're done. Uh, that's kind of what they did to us on Global. But uh, we'll be talking about what happens on JP. So if you don't want spoilers for this, uh, definitely uh, turn the video off now because we're going to be talking about that. Um, but it's not going to be just talking about what happens at the end. But what does it mean for the future of Defo? And uh, we'll go through it, but I think there's a few ways that this could be read. I think there definitely is some copium that maybe there is. Defo will continue in some way, shape, or form. Um, I'm going to talk about like what the possibilities are for that and maybe what the messages maybe mean that we're seeing here, right? So um, I just did this as a series of slides rather than just showing the whole video of what's happening here. But um, this is essentially going to a big final boss fight. Now, before you go into this boss fight, the actual stage that you're going into or the level, it's called Dissidia Novum Iter, or Iter, I don't know how to pronounce it right, but it's Latin. Um, and Novum Iter stands for New Journey. So this stage is called Dissidia New Journey. It's kind of like what the final chapter is called. Uh, so that part is kind of interesting, right? So you do a boss fight, <clears throat> do all that, and then you kind of end the boss fight and pretty much it's kind of like the whole cast is there. Everybody's a part of things. We're all talking. Um, and so what happens is, is we go through some dialogue between the characters. Um, basically, whatever your goal or your mission was in this world is complete. Because, you know, basically what's happening here is uh, what Opera Omnia is, is all of these characters from different game series have all been kind of transported into this new world together, right? And they've kind of been fighting this battle and trying to, to figure things out. So that's kind of what's going on here, right? So we see a scene with all the characters with their crystals. Um, we're kind of coming up to the end here. And then this is the big thing I want to talk about is at the very end, it's Warrior of Light. Because Warrior of Light is kind of seen as the main character of the game. Uh, when you first start the original story, it's Warrior of Light and Pales, right? Uh, those first, I think is what you start with like six characters. It's like Warrior of Light, Rem, VV. A couple of those like very, very first characters when you start the game. But Warrior of Light, I would say, is kind of seen as the main protagonist, right? So they're kind of ending this whole story on him. And what happens is, is he comes to a point where he is allowed to make a wish. Um, and from what I'm told, and I'm going off of translations, right, that I, I found online, um, but they don't actually tell you what his wish is. They just represent it with like dash marks or something. But Warrior of Light makes some type of wish at this point. Um, and then this is the part where it gets interesting is Warrior of Light is then, you know, awakens or revives in this new world with these like falling colored leaves, right? Um, so he's just been transported out. Uh, he's in a new world. And then we get this. This is the thing that's crazy is we get this <laughs> screenshot right here. Um, and it says their adventures continue. And keep in mind, this is on the JP version of the game. So in English, they give you just this big thing that says their adventures continue. So between the final chapter being called, you know, Dissidia New Journey and this ending where Warrior of Light is seemingly transported to a new world and it says their adventures continue... There's a lot of ways we can read this, right? So kind of the copium, right? For the people that want more defaults, like this could be a direct lead into a sequel. Like, could they be making Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia 2? Uh, that certainly is possible. Um, I don't know that that's the most likely thing, but I think if you want to hold that hope, I mean, that is, it's definitely like saying like, hey, there is something more happening, right? Um, now, another way that I could read this is that there could just be more games in the Dissidia series, right? The Dissidia is more than just Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, right? So they could just do more Dissidia fighting games and say that's the story continuing. Uh, that's one way you could look at it, okay? Um, another way you could look at it, and I think the way that I kind of read this, the way I kind of read this ending, it's like, I feel like this is showing like all of the characters maybe going back to their own worlds and that their adventures are going to continue within their own series again or within their own games, right? It's just saying we're going back to what we were doing and our individual adventures are going to continue. I think that's probably what it is or it's just saying like, hey, there's more for these characters uh, even though this story has ended but doesn't mean that they're going to necessarily make 
a new Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, right? But I think it's interesting um, that, you know, they said new journey adventures continue. I think it is kind of interesting. Um, I think it would be really cool if there was a sequel. I know the Sony state of play is going on right now, but I don't know that they would talk about something like Defo. I feel like they're really focused on Rebirth and stuff right now. Um, but obviously, if any news breaks on any type of whether it be a, a defo sequel or if there's just like some type of new game that squex is doing that might be trying to replace this or, or use the same battle system i mean i'll cover definitely anything that would be a continuation of defo on the channel for sure um i would it's obviously as long as the game's good which if, if it does use this battle system it will be good um but yeah it's just really sad <laughs> that this game is ending because you know like i think seeing this because the thing is, is we've had, we've known of end of service for a while. It's still like a month away though, right? Like it still seems like it's not like happening right this second, but seeing this actual final conclusion on the JP side, like that does kind of hit hard for me, right? Like it is really done. Uh, it's not going on. And you know, over here on the global side, we've just got some more dare to defy fights and that's about it, right? But we don't get this cool story conclusion. So I wish we had gotten this in English. Um, but at least we can watch the the JP version of it. If you guys look up, uh, if you guys want to look it up online, there are people that posted um, the full clear of the boss fight and everything. If you want to see that, I don't have a JP account, otherwise I would gladly do that for you. Um, but yeah, I want you guys in the comments to let me know what your thoughts are, are on this. You know, if 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 you think people are coping that you know this just means you know that they think it's going to be a new Dissidia, but it definitely doesn't have a chance to do it, or do you think it's a real possibility? Um, you know, do you have a different maybe interpretation of this than what i had like i said i kind of had three interpretations right it either means a defo 2 could be coming uh just talking about the decidia series in general continuing or the characters continuing their own stories on their own and that's what i kind of think it means but you guys let me know what you think and by the way um, we're going to do our big last hurrah stream on the 28th. I just want to promote it a little bit more. So um, I'm thinking it's going to be like 6 p.m. Central time. When it gets a little bit closer, I'll actually like do up the thumbnail for it and I'll get it posted on my channel. But I hope to see everybody there to uh, celebrate Defo on its last day. Uh, so thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you all on the next one.